on this video demonstration i'm going to show you how to use array of structures in c++ programming let's get started okay so on this video demonstration i'm going to show you how to use the array of structure in a c++ program let's do it let me create a file here okay so this program demonstrates the use of array of structure in a c++ program so let us save this as say you've got struct demo 02 okay dot cpp okay so of course we are going to start with okay so sharp include io stream and then using namespace std the body of our program so in main begin return zero and then end all right so what we're going to do is we are going to use an array of structure okay and we will be using five records on this demonstration so let me create here the number of records. So say that is const, okay, in number of record, which is say you've got five records there. Okay. Now, let me define my structure on the global declaration. Okay. So to define the structure, so basically we are going to start with a keyword struct. Okay. Say I'm going to name my structure student rec. All right, so something like okay, so this is the global declar uh, declaration. Okay, so begin. So, what are the data variables for our student record? So, let's start say with I need a student number. So say I have their student number. Okay. Next, say I have here. Let me just use the last name. Okay, for the demo. Okay, so I defined it as character. So say you've got um, 15 there. Okay. And then say I need uh, an average. So average would be double. Okay. So assuming that this is my structure here, okay. Next would be on the main function. So I should have declare, okay. So my variable here to be of data type student rec, okay. So you got student rec, and then our variable, which is say student, okay. And since we will be using five records here, so let me use an array of structure. So you've got student, and then say that is numrec. Okay, so for five records. And let me define also the data for this uh, student record. So the equals, say I have here, okay, so something like begin. So let me define the values or the five records of the students. So starting with the student number. So say the first record would be say 202101. Okay. Say the name would be Alpha. Okay. And say the average is 1.00. So this is the record for the first student okay next so let's have the record for the next student say that is 202102 say the name of the student is a beta okay and then say the average is 1.25 all right so for the third student, say that is 202103, you've got Charlie here. Okay. 
and then say the average is 1.50 okay so that is our third student record so the fourth student record would be say 202104 and then say the name or the surname of this student is delta the average say is 1.75 Okay, and the last record, say you've got 202105. Okay, student surname is Echo. And say that is 2.00. Okay. So assuming that this is our data here. Okay, so take note that we have defined the structure named student rec. And our variable here is a student. So that means the first student record would be 202101 alpha 1.00. So this values here defined would be the value of the student number, the last name, and the average for the first record, second record, third, fourth, and fifth record. All right. So say we want to display this output here. Okay. So how do we do that? Okay, so let's say I have here something like C out. I just want to display the data. Okay, defined. And we have say set flags. Okay, set iOS flags. So you've got iOS or iOS and then left. Okay, so this means we are going to justify or left justify the output so i have left justify the output since i have their set ios flags so i need here a library okay so that would be sharp include we need io manip okay so io manip now let's continue so I want to display that five record or records. So therefore, I have to have a loop here. So for, let me use for loop. So for int say i is equal to zero. And then i is less than the number of record, which is numrec. Okay, defined as constant. And then you've got i plus plus. So what we're going to do is we need to display these records here. So C out. So say let me set the width. Okay, so to seven. Okay. And then this would be student. So this is in a form of array. So that would be I dot. Okay. So let us compile this one. So that we can see that tip there yes okay so that you'll have this so student number okay next would be say set width let me set it to 15 all right and then say you've got student Okay, I here dot, so we need the last name. All right, and then last would be set with, okay, say this would be six, and this one is for the average. So you've got student I dot average. All right. And then say we want the next record be displayed on the next line. So you've got end line there. And then you've got return zero. So this would be our program. Okay. So we have defined a structure for a student record. And we supply this value here. Okay. And then we're going to display it. So take note that this is in a form of array. So we call it the array of structure. Let's compile this. Okay, and then let's try to run. All right. So basically, this is the output of your program here. 
So we were able to display the five records or the five student records defined. So which are 202101 up to 202105. And these are the values there. All right. So you might want to set the precision on this output here so you could do so. Okay. Now on the next video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to get these inputs from the user. Okay, so see you on the next video. Have a great day.